And hello everyone, Peter here with another video. As you can see, there are all sorts of interesting things in the water behind my house. They keep me more than entertained. Almost, almost every day I spend some time sitting there on the seawall with my feet on the same rock. And if the tide is up, uh, the brackish water laps at my toes. I smoke a cigar and I read a book. Or I draw something or just doodle absentmindedly. Or if it's after the sun has gone down and it's far too dark to do those things, I just sit and feel the breeze and rest my eyes on the flickering reflection of the light on the water from the houses across the way. It's all extremely soothing, however it happens. There's a duck that lives there in the grass and the water, and sometimes we feed him breadcrumbs, of course. He's very friendly, and he's got a lot of He's got a lot of moxie for a duck, and we call him Ping. I like him a lot. Uh, also, there are many tiny snails that live on the rocks by which I rest my feet. Um, I can't tell if they like being in the water or not, though. They tend to crowd up to the tips of the rocks that are jutting out of the water at low tide, as if for a breath of air, but don't really know if snails work like that. The largest ones are the size of a lima bean, and they're, they're even these impossibly small snails, hardly bigger than a couple of sesame seeds. It makes me wonder what they eat. Maybe stuff off the rocks, or stuff out of the water? And if the snails grow, um, how do they go about finding a bigger shell when they need it, and then switching into that shell? The other day, I found a hermit crab in desperate need of a new shell. Like, the back of his shell had, like, completely fallen off. And when I picked him up, you know, of course, he recoiled back and hid like they always do. But since his home was in utter disrepair, his back end was coming out of the other end of the shell. It was kind of weird. I'd never seen that happen before, and it was a little it was a little amusing, I'll admit. And then there are these big fish in the water. Someone told me they're called mullets. Mullets, yeah, like the legendary hairdo. Anyways, they're pretty big, and every few minutes, one of them just randomly jumps a couple of feet up out of the water and does this amazing belly flop back in with a huge splash. And I don't know why. Maybe they're having fun or trying to impress each other. Maybe they're catching bugs that are flying over the water or just getting some energy out of their system or something. At first it kept startling me a little. And now it just kind of adds to the whole soothing ambiance of my lake sitting experience. Now, I'm sure, I'm sure it would be a fairly simple matter of finding out how all of these things work with a quick internet search or something, but I think at this point, for these things, I think I'm just content to sit out there and wonder and enjoy it. Wondering is good. You know, maybe, maybe it's okay if you don't find out all the answers to your questions. As long as you keep asking yourself questions. But, then again, on the other hand, as Terry Pratchett said, it doesn't stop being magic just because you know how it works. So, there's that. Anyways, so this was a fun drawing to do. Um... I used graph paper behind tracing paper, and I used Copic Multiliner SP pens. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.